Hey guys, this is Devashis and you are watching C Programming Tutorial. In last few video, we discuss about array and practice simple example by using array. In this tutorial, we learn the operation of matrix by using array. If you like my video, please subscribe TechG and press the bell icon to get regular updates and notifications. You can also follow our page and website TechG to get job updates, programming tutorial, placement preparation and updates about internship. Please do subscribe and stay updated. In this tutorial, we practice some basic example of operation of matrix by using array. Okay, so let's start. So the first program write a code of matrix m cross n. We need so many times to write a matrix of m cross n. How to write this code? First include the header file, then main function, integers, and then the variables, integer type that is row, column, i and j. Then print one message that enter the number of row and store the value inside row variable. Then Print another message that enter the number of column and store the value of column inside column variable. Then declare our array. So I declare here integer type array inside third bracket row and column. And then I declare an extra variable that is element. Why? Because when we enter the value of all elements, we didn't know amount of variables we have to input. So this element variable is to use the amount of variable we have to input from user. Okay. Then we put one message that enter the number of values that is element. Element equals to row into column because we know that the number of element equals to number of row into number of column then similarly we put nested for loop here one for loop is for row and another for loop is for column how this nested for loop works we discussed in the previous video if you don't watch this video i give the link in description please watch this video then you easily understand how this nested for loop works okay here we put condition that is i is less than row and j is less than column. So this row and column value is coming from the memory location where we put the value of row and column taking from the user. This nested for loop iterate every time and store all the values by getting the value from the user by using scanf function. Then we put one message that display the value of this matrix. Now in this time we display all the values here we similarly use the nested for loop to print all the values here one is for row and another for loop is for column and then we print percent d array i and j so these two loops iterate every time and print all the value from starting to end and after complete every column jump to the next line to print all the value of the next row so we use the printf function printf slash n function and lastly we use the return zero statement so i hope you understand how to write the m cross n matrix let's practice this code i write this code in devc now compile and run this code so it asked me enter the number of row so i enter 3 enter the number of column i enter 3 so i want to print the 3 cross 3 matrix so i just put enter so it show me that enter the 9 values so how it get the 9 values it just multiply the number of row and the number of column that is 3 cross 3 equals to 9 value okay so now i enter all the 9 values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 i enter all the 9 value starting from 1 to 9 and put enter so display the value of matrix now this time it display me all the values i enter but in matrix from 3 cross 3 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 9 i hope you understand how to write 3 cross 3 matrix next here is one another code of matrix 
write a code to add two matrix by using array. We just add two matrix and storing that value inside another matrix and display all the values. Here we use matrix A and matrix B and we make addition between matrix A and matrix B and store the value inside matrix C. So the number of row and the number of column should be same and we take two variable integer type that is i and j for looping purpose we print one message that enter the value for matrix a okay so in this time we taking all the value from the user for the matrix a we use nested for loop here and store all the values inside matrix a then we print the value for matrix B and we use the nested for loop function. If you don't know the working principle of nested for loop, please watch the previous videos. You can easily understand how this nested for loop works. Okay. Next. Now this time we taking all the values of B and store the value inside array B. Here we use the nested for loop for another time to make the addition between these two array that is array A and array B and storing the addition value inside array C. This function is similar of the working principle of nested for loop. It just iterate the loop two time for row and column operation and storing all the addition value inside array C. So we make the addition and store the value inside C. Now we check the value of addition. So we print one message that the value of matrix C. Similarly, we use the nested for loop here to get or retrieve all the values from the memory location of array C and print all the values. So we write the printf function and percent D, comma C, I and J. After complete every row, it just jump to the next line to print all the values of the next row. And lastly, the return zero. So I hope you understand how to make the addition of two array. So just practice this code. Okay, here you see that I write the code inside DFC. Now compile this code. There is no error and warning. Now run this code. It asked me enter the value for matrix A. So I declare the matrix A that is 3 cross 3. We have to put 9 values. Okay. Now I enter all the 9 values and it show me enter the value for matrix B. So enter all the 9 values because we also initialize the matrix B that is 3 cross 3. So it add all the value of matrix A and matrix B and storing all the values inside matrix C and now print the value of matrix C that is also 3 cross 3. We get all the values of addition. So I hope you understand how to make addition between two array. Please practice this code. So next. We write a code to subtract two matrix by using array. This program is almost similar with the previous program that is addition of two matrix. But here we make the subtraction of two matrix. So we include the header file. We initialize the main function. Inside the main function we declare three arrays that is x, y and z. So we make the subtraction operation between these two matrix that is x and y. These two matrix is 3 cross 3 and we store the subtraction values or result inside matrix J. Print one message that enter the value for matrix X and taking all the values of matrix X from the user by using scanf function and similarly print one message that enter the value of matrix Y and by using the nested for loop we take the value from the user by using scanf function storing that value inside array Y. Next we doing the subtraction operation by using the nested for loop. Here we make the subtraction operation between array x and array y and storing the value inside array z. After doing the subtraction operation we just check all the value we store inside array z. So for this we use the nested for loop and print all the values of array z and using printf slash n to print the value to the next line and last we use return 0. This code is almost similar 
but one thing is change that is this part okay so here we have to subtract the value between two array now practice this code i write this code inside debsy now compile this code there is no error and warning now run this code okay so it asks me enter the value for matrix x uh, we have to enter 9 values because matrix X is 3 cross 3 matrix. So now enter all the 9 values. I enter all the 9 values. Now enter the value for matrix Y. So here we have to enter all the 9 values because matrix Y is also 3 cross 3 matrix. So enter all the 9 values. So here you see that the value of matrix Z R. So it just doing the subtraction operation and storing the value inside array Z or matrix Z is also 3 cross 3 matrix. We successfully compile and run this code. I hope you understand how to make subtraction operation between two matrix by using array. So in this video we learn how to write a code of M cross N matrix by using array. Then we write one program to making the addition between two matrix by using array and then we write one program to make the subtraction operation between two matrix by using array. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any doubt, please comment below. I definitely try to solve your problem. And do not forget to subscribe TechG. Press the bell icon to get notification and future updates. Thank you.